Hello. Hello. Thank God you stopped. Uh, were you a fan of Frank Mathers? Frank Mathers? The TV guy who used to do the shows about space until he became obsessed with undersea exploration? No, not a huge fan. Frank was my husband. By not a huge fan, I mean not a huge fan as much as a fanatic. He was a cruel and heartless man. Well, like I said, I was not a huge fan. But I loved him. Didn't he leave his sick wife and five kids to run off with you? We loved each other. I'm sure he did. <laughs> and I'm penniless now, not more or, or less. Well, Frank's submarine broke apart while he was trying to save the San Andreas White Shark. But his body was never found. You know, people thought someone tampered with the airlocks. That's an outright lie. That was never proven. I love Frank, and Frank loved me, which is why we invested so much money in life insurance. If we could just prove that Frank was dead and that the airlocks weren't tampered with, I would sleep so much easier. I bet you would. <laughs> I'll make it very worth your while. Guess I could take a look. Hey, I found it. Well, here's the good stuff. Oh, you precious, precious man. Yeah, but I gotta tell you, I think the airlocks were tampered with. No, no, that's just normal wear and tear. It may surprise you to learn that along with being a beautiful, finely put together woman, I am also an expert in nautical engineering and glass degradation. <sighs> yeah, but I mean, look, it's, oh. Looks like Frank tried to scratch a message in with his last dying breath. It says, someone tampered with the airlocks. airlocks. How can that be? My poor Frank. It must have been his ex-wife. Very bitter woman. Yeah, well, I don't know anything about that. I'm not a detective, you know, but something doesn't ring true here. No, no, I know. The police are in on it. I'm going to take this to the FIB. They'll know what to do. Yeah, well, that's your business. Hey, ho, whoa! whoa. <laughs> Said you're gonna make it worth my while. Yes, yes. This should be plenty for your time and discretion. It's ten bucks. Oh. Here's a signed photo of Frank. He was a lovely person. You would have been great friends. He loved his fans. I've got to get going to the FIB, I mean. You gotta be fucking kidding me. What this state makes illegal. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I don't give a fuck about reefer. No, no, they rigged the vote. I saw the ballots. It's a lie. It's democracy at work, amigo. Democracy can suck my fatty. Democracy only works when it lets intelligent people do what they want. This, this is tyranny by morons. <laughs> yeah, well, I got things to take care of in a little place called reality. You want to drag? Nah, I'm not a drug guy. This isn't bushweed. This is mana. I grew it myself. No paranoia, no weirdness. A passport to Nirvana. Fuck, give me that. Yeah, here, you'll hardly feel it. Yeah, I smoke all day and I'm fine. It's a pure, mellow high. But I do get concerned about the monsters. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they're nothing serious, but, uh, oh. I never let them get too near. Oh, the fuck! And after that, you see, the liquor companies push for continued prohibition, which is complete insanity. <laughs> so I take it I can count on your support. The fuck just happened? What are you talking about? We discuss globalization, the state. Stay the fuck away from me. What? But it's a good cause. No, another most important fight. The AIDS. No, no, another one. Animal welfare. Legalization. Here, sign. Shit, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Legalization of what? Of things the Founding Fathers took as a right to consume medicinal plants. Legalize smoke? Yeah. You fucking kidding me? I make a shitload of money selling that, all right? The last thing I can handle is legalization. Now fuck off! Take a drag. 
No, I don't, I don't, I don't smoke it anymore. It interferes with the speed. No, it's really good weed. All right, give it here. Yeah. It's a real mellow contemplative, all right? That comes from here. <laughs> Those clowns over there. And I suppose that's why they want to keep us suppressed. <laughs> Gosh, it's been really interesting talking to you. What the fuck was that, huh? It was horrible. Well, think about what I said. We're gonna bring down the government by smoking weed together in a public place. It's very effective. I'm prepared to be a martyr, friend. Are you? Shit, if being a martyr means to smoke good weed, for sure. Would you like a little warm-up? You know, before you go and collect the supplies? Before I what? You know, get the supplies. Can't have a smoke in without smoke. <laughs> you know, cerebral stuff that's gonna get the people up off their feet protesting. Man, I don't know. It sounds kind of bullshit to me. You know, we're gonna crush them with our resolve. Here. <clears throat> have a little taste of that. <clears throat> hmm. Just a mellow, sophisticated high. Man, it seems a little dry. Can't you see the aliens? Man, what else are you taking? Man, this shit is garbage. Anyway, just get the stuff. <laughs> what the fuck? Give me that motherfucker. Hey, 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 whoa, back off there, cowboy. I know my constitutional rights. Anyway, I know you're coming here to suck cock, so it's all right. What the fuck you talking about? Wow, oh, hey, look, I saw a quarterback blues, man. And, you know, some of those older records of yours, even they sound a little bit closeted, I'm just saying. What? A black man walking in vine wood, you think he clay PG sellout? You bitch-ass punk oh. motherfucker. Oh, shit, man. Oh, hey, I'm sorry, dude. I didn't, didn't have my, my contacts in, you know? I mean, I love black people. Yeah, you know, like, uh, like I love gangsters. I love, like, gangster rap. Yo, sup? Man, who oh. gives a fuck if he's gay or not, man? The man is not married. It's his business. Leave motherfuckers alone. Well, I, look, I, I'm, I'm just saying that, that it's uh, it's the hypocrisy that I can't stand. You know, I mean, of celebrities. Right? I mean, PG, right? He, he, he says he, he's a killer and a murderer and all that great stuff. And then, what, he, he loves his mother and likes show tunes. I mean, really, what kind of message is that sending our kids? You know what I'm saying? The guy's a fraud. Well, why do you care, man? Well, yeah, because, you know why? Because they all think they're gods, right? Well, fuck them. Fuck them! Fuck them! Fuck them! Fuck! Them! Fuck them! They're not magic! No, no, they're no better than me. They're no better than me. Shit! Oh shit! Oh my god, it's Miranda! Miranda, I love you, Miranda! Come on! Come on, come on, it's fucking Miranda fucking Cowan! Cause she's a fucking megastar! No, no, leave me out your shit, man. Oh no, 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 we, we can make Boku bucks here, man! We get one picture of, of her of her hairy legs or her aging muff, and we are in the money, man! In the money, bro! Come on! Come on, man! Come what on! The fuck is wrong with me? All right, homie, it's been an education, dawg. Look, keep on making the world a better place, you hear me? Yeah, the public needs to know. The fans deserve answers. Shit, not if the question is how low is Miranda Collins' muff hanging or if she getting banged out by some second-rate director? They need to know everything, from crow's feet to camel toes. Hey, 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 come by the manor next week. We'll continue the search for the truth. Look, don't wait around for me, homie. Oh, I'm waiting for you, homie. Oh, hey! Hey, homie, come here, come here, come here. You know what? If you thought it was incredible getting a shot of that aging trout the other day, you just wait till we get a picture of Poppy Mitchell getting in a dirt box, man. Beverly, good to see you. No, seriously, dude. Dude, it is a backdoor bonanza with that bitch's concerned. Ah! America's newest sweetheart? Man, she likes cotton candy and puff. Yeah, and getting in the bunghole. Wow. No, no, seriously, dude. One shot of that dirty little slut monkey, and we're in the money, homie. We're in the money. Uh -huh. And who says America is going to hell? Well, not me. I... Another illuminating experience, homie. Hey, well, someone's got to do it. I really don't think so. Hey, look. If you don't want to become rich beyond your wildest dreams while performing a vital public service, you won't meet me again. But then again, you're not an idiot. No, I am a fucking idiot. 
Oh, oh, it's you. Hey, how's it going, homie? Hey. Yeah. Hey, uh, you seem to be incredible lately. Yeah, Trevor Phillips, but I doubt if you want a picture of him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wasn't he uh, in, in the, the men's room? Nah, nah. Oh, shit. I gotta tell you. This is unbelievable. Oh, crap. That hurt. Man, you're not gonna believe this. They wanna do a reality series about me. Yeah, it's true, man. I'm gonna be big. I'm gonna be huge, right? It's all about the incredibly glamorous life I lead. Huh? Good. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, except, you know, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna need somebody else to take some shots for me. No, no, I'm cool on that, dog. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, homie. Like... All right, look, just if, if you get a chance, right? I mean, there's no rush, okay? Oh, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll send you a list of names and some links so you can see who they are, right? Yeah, well, whatever, man. All right. Excellent. Yeah. Hey, you know, and I promise you, fame won't change me one bit. Hey, Bev. Oh, man, you fucking ruined the shot. You ruined the fucking shot. What the fuck you talking about? You ruined the fucking shot. It's a fucking reality show, and you ruined it, homie. Homie's got you them photos. Poppy Mitchell, the English princess, the others. Oh, right, man, you know? <laughs> Don't even remember, right? The whole thing is like... But what about my money? We're shooting a show here, trying to work. Hello? Or just, you know, have somebody call my agent or something. Man, fuck you. Whatever. Smell any funny spices? And Johnny Vigil, boss. Hey, read the document. What? Passport, давай, ебать, мам. I don't fucking understand you. А, да ты по-английски не шаришь? Что за хуйня с тобой? Я говорю, паспорт покажи. Все вы нелегалы, как один. Ты под гражданским арестом, ты понял? Америка страна возможностей, а я воспользуюсь возможностью послать тебя обратно через границу, откуда ты приперся. What? <laughs> Very good, Joseph. Real fine. We'll make a civilian protector of our nation's borders from undesirable elements of you yet. Sorry, citizen, just a uh, training exercise. Ah, okay. Well, I'm so glad that you patriots are out here defending this fine American desert sand. Well, thank you. When you could be in town fucking some girls and further destroying the gene pool. Hey, there's a real problem here. Да, люди мотивированы необходимостью прокормить свои семьи, едут сюда работать по черному за копейки и прут, прут в эту страну. It's a disaster. And that's why we form the Civil Border Patrol. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! My Patriot meter's going off. Huh? <laughs> come on, both of you. We've got some illegals over them hills. Come on, come on, you drive. You drive, let's go! Drive, get in the back. Meshkin <laughs> often. Look at that! Yeah, put him up! Oh, it's you! What are you idiots up to, huh? Мы здесь защищаем честь Америки. Это предназначено судьбою. Гордая страна, которая может совершить геноцид и назвать это волею Божьей. Fellow can't speak two words of English, but he knows this is the best country. Jesus! Hey, hey, what's that? The illegals ruining the place. Come on! Come on, let's Brace, go! Let's, let's go! Get in! Uh, get in! Uh, why do you care? Well, I don't. Except that they paid me some money. That must feel good. What a proud patriot you are. So, when are they kicking you out? They can't kick me out, stupid man. Why not? My family has been here 200 years. I'm more American than you. Not that there's anything to boast about. I'm sorry. Well, at least you got paid. You know, don't get all serious, okay? Anybody can make a mistake. Perhaps now you want to kill me. Yeah, maybe, old man. Maybe not. You and your Civil Border Patrol friends, you're all the same. Ignorant fools trying to protect something that's not even there. They're not my friends. Spend enough time with them. Yeah, I spend a lot of time with fucking people I don't like, all right? It's one of my favorite hobbies. Civil Border Patrol, man. Fuck you! You wanna fucking die? You don't scare me. You owe my family a great debt. What? Our land is no longer safe. That's not my fault. You're so concerned. Clean it up for me. Your choice. And 
No. I will not give you one cent. Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunting. Hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Hell, why not? All right, then. Up here with you. There you are, Trevor. Ah, oh, if it ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. Hello, boy. What's that? You said a man is stuck in a tree. And he needs my help? Part of you would rather leave him there because he's a bit of a dick. But you're doing your civic duty. Okay, shit, show me. Hey, bro! <laughs> you mind giving me a hand here? Man, that's a cool-ass dog you got, homie. What dog? That dog that saved your, saved your ass, man. Dude, I have no idea what you're talking about right now. What the fuck? Hello? <laughs> when you got a moment. My bad, dog. Oh. Oh. oh, man, that was wild. Woo! See, I'm not an adrenaline junkie. I'm a control junkie. Yeah, that parachuting is intense, man. And hey, if along the way I figure out what it means to be alive, well then, let's just make this a little spiritual and say I'm on a thought journey. <laughs> shit, nothing helps me think clearly like shitting myself while I'm heading towards a certain death, man. Then you're up for it. Not really, dog. Shit, I respect gravity. Oh, I knew you were a pussy. Come on. It's safe, I promise you. Safer than driving a car. The only way it's safer is if you drive a car to a fucking airplane. Come on. Let's go. Ah, yeah, I didn't it kill myself. And you wasn't even pushing. Whatever, bro. I know this bike. I know this body. I was operating at the perimeter of my parameters, and you were being reckless! And now you're having a winch. A what? Listen, meet me by the airport when you're grown up here, all right? Nothing? Okay, a little something that's gonna help me get some tail from those Midwestern ladies that I get to meet online. Let's pretend for a second that you're not so much of a pussy and vamos, as my cleaning lady would say. Uh, just to be clear, uh, I'm not racist. I, I meant that ironically. I, uh, I have a black friend, and uh, I didn't even really notice that you were black, uh, or whatever your people call hey, get it. Get the fuck out of here. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, we got lift off. As soon as we hit a suitably stupid altitude, we'll kamikaze this shit into next week. Am I right? Come on, high five. Hell no, nah, man. Shit, I don't want you to be the last person I touch. Uh, yeah, okay. Air 5 then. Parachute? Check. ATV? Check. Big pair of balls? Uh, uh, check. Okay, this is happening. Ah, <sighs> you feel that? Lightning bolt, zap! You're alive! <laughs> you know how it feels. <laughs> man, I know how it feels to ride an ATV out of a damn airplane. Man, how much that shit cost you per second? <laughs> it's relative, bro. How long did it take me to earn the bills? Listen, you go out walking amongst the drones. I'll be on top of the maze bank building with the higher beings. Dominator out. <sighs> shit, bullshit. Well, less people have died doing this than crossing the street. How about that? <laughs> they called me insane when I said sell all your American equities, and now look at this shithole. <sighs> Come on, lady boy. Let's go. Oh! <sighs> you overcooked it, huh? Shit. I'm the king, the emperor, the supreme being of overcooking. 
I'll incinerate whatever you put in front of me. Boom! Nuke that shit. Man, I was just saying you missed a truck, dawg. Maybe a gust of wind or something, that's cool. Nah, it ain't cool. Land Act Reservoir now, bitch! We'll set the sliders to maximum and bust your tiny little processor. Poof! I'm gone. Hey, what's up, my nigga? Good to see you, dawg. That asshole is about to kill himself. Which asshole? Oh, that perfect investor guy. Shit, whatever. You're obligated to tell me. You really don't give a shit, but you were just made this way? He's this way? But you off to get cast in a movie role more suitable to your talents? Oh shit, all right, dawg. I'll holler at you, my nigga. Hey, Don, what the hell you about to do, man? Nothing. It's perfectly safe. <laughs> like last time, huh? Yeah. If I don't hit your vagina on the way down. <sighs> hey, man, I ain't too sure about this one. Man, that motherfucking dog was the real deal. What dog? <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, man. Well, it's your call. <gasps> I said it, you Peter Drake. Who are you? You want an autograph? No offense, but I'm not reading any screenplays. Huh? I mean, you're from the hood, right? You don't want to... Pick up the guns, cause like, if you pick up the guns, everybody dies. It's tragedy, pathos, tedium. I'm bored. Unless, you know, you're here to copulate. I'm here to what? People, they want to consume me, they always have. To touch the hem, you know, so to speak. And who's to hold that against them? I don't. Well, what time is it? I got a few minutes before my colonic, you know, if you want to suck me off. I wouldn't mind. Motherfucker, do I look like I'm here to suck you off? I don't know what you're here for, chum. You're like some barely credible deus ex machina sent here by random chance in order to challenge my impending divinity. Man, I don't know what the fuck you just said, but guess what? I'm here for this, chum. Hey, what's this about? Do you know her? Security? What's her Security? name? Security, this guy's trying to rape me! Leonore Johnson. It's not what you think. The one who passed you fucked over after you killed her just because you could. How much you want? How much money you want? I got enough motherfucking money, homie. I'm famous. Fuck you! I can do whatever I want. Those are the rules, civilian! Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Take me to my father, father, brother, uncle, Kiflam. Yo, peace, brother, brother. Kiflum. Oh, Kiflum. really? Oh! this far, but the journey has only just begun. You've waited years for this moment. You're exactly in the right place. I was lost. I sold myself. I took drugs. I was in conflict. Then I discovered an incredible truth, a truth so incredible that if I told it to you now, you would melt into nothingness. You are ready. But you are not ready. Oh, I'm not ready. Then you're ready! I don't know about that. <laughs> the truth is incredible, if you're capable of understanding it. We have your email address. We will send you an incredible education tool that will help you to unlock the secrets of the existence. That will cost as little as $5,000. Oh, 5000 
What price would you put on having the tools to understanding everything and to achieving the impossible? The price I would put on that is every penny you've ever earned. <laughs> Kiflin, sister mother. Well, the price I would put on it is all the money in the entire world because that is how much it is worth. Well, we're offering you millions of dollars of top quality research and learning by society's best thinkers for only $5,000. Think about it, Michael. And if you think too long, we know you're not ready. Kiflum. Kiflum! Okay. What? Your real name is Zolag. You are a king. You lived in a cloud city, but evil forces came and cast you out. Now you are trapped here, but soon you shall be free. Okay. I used to be called Marnie. Now I am Shupar, Queen of the Winds. <clears throat> Doubting is the pathway to believing for non-objectionable persons. The literature is very clear about that. Ah. Why is it whenever people talk about reincarnation, they're always a king or a general or a famous person? How come they're never a serf or a rock or a bug? Oh, it is easy to be a doubtful antithesis, but be a thesis, Solag. These are incredible truths. I used to be lost. Now I'm the most powerful person in existence. Last night, I went to 47,000 places at the same time. Okay, this is bullshit. Objectionable persons fall in any hurdle. Mm. Goodbye. Helping higher beings is the pathway to acquiring a higher existence. I'm sure it is. You're not. But you are on the way. Some of our true thesis holders, who also happen to be top of their field actors, philosophers, and humanitarians, require cars. Oh. Can you find it in your heart to be of service? The spirits shall email you their requirements. The spirits have email. Don't be an antithesis, Zolag. Kiflom. Kiflom. Hello, Zondar. Kiflom. Hi, or, uh, Kiflom. Marnie. Wait, I thought my name was Zolag. That's because everything you have ever thought is wrong, Zondar. Do you know top actor, philosopher, and environmental activist Jimmy Boston? What's up, bro? Hey, how you doing? Kiflom. Right. Yeah. Kiflom. <laughs> Welcome to the truth. Your thoughts are probably very confused. Chris is clear about this. Yeah, you're neither thesis nor antithesis. You're nothing, Zondar, nothing. I've become a thesis, bro, in record time. So Chris said I could hunt for extraterrestrials out here using this incredible meter. This is science the authorities try to suppress. <laughs> well, Zondar, now you can meet your people. Oh. <laughs> Kiflam. 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 Oh! Oh, oh, hey! This? It? I don't know. Shikuku car! Is this it? If there is doubt in your mind, you're an antithesis, and the metaverse will not reveal its secret. Guess we keep looking, bro. So this is it. Right? Do you doubt the truth? Do you? I doubt that you don't doubt. Now I'm doubting. Then the search must continue. This is it. I am 110% unequivocally positive this is it. Then you understand, Zondar. I understand that this is fucking it. Good. Then you know what it costs. Five grand. Ten. Whatever. Kiflum. <gasps> Are you ready? For what? It is today, and the tracks can be written. Wait, wait, wait. I can't believe that you got wrapped up in this bullshit. Uh, you seem like a nice girl. Objectionable antitheses are worse than idiots on a sinking ship. The literature makes that very clear. Yeah, well, does the literature make clear that you need help? I have help. I know the truth. If you want to know me, agree to pay your dues and wear pale blue attire for the next 10 days. You should get the attire off the website. It's very reasonable, right? What? Are you even capable of listening, Zondar? <laughs> Kiflum. Kiflum, bro. Kiflum. Got the money? Kiflum. Cool. And the plane? <laughs> Kiflum. Oh, nice. You're almost a thesis of truth, bro. You're nearly there. 
It's gonna cost a little time and effort, and then it's astro planes and 37,000 places all at once. <laughs> and the chicks, oh! <laughs> you know, Chris and I sometimes watch porn together in the nude. Just to prove we don't get turned on by it. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, Kiflon, man. Laters. Kiflon. Oh! Chris says, if you're ready, here's a tree of truth. Now, he'll arrange a map, but it's kind of expensive to reach this level of existence. You'll need quite a bit of money. Someone to mail you, bro. Mind if I take the plane? Kiflam. Kiflam! Kiflam! Come on! You've discovered great things! Kiflam, brother, father, you now know we're not alone. Yeah, and you've discovered the importance of higher beings, celebrities, like me. There's people to worship and guide you to truth. Here, this is your medal for your achievements so far. Chris is very happy with you. Indeed I am happy, Zondar. You have achieved great things, but it is as a blink of the eye. Unless you achieve more, you shall not survive the apocalypse. Chris has spoken. Kifla. Kiflam, Zandar, you're nearly a true thesis. Your antithesis is almost quelled. Oh, it's so great! I'm very reasonably priced, too. Mm. Ah, let's quell my antithesis. It's easy. Just bring a small donation to Chris at the Epsilon Center in the city. But first, you must wear your medal and your attire and run five miles through the desert. Kiflam! Get flung. Welcome, Zandar. I'm so happy to see that you understand everything. Well, I know nothing, Chris, with no H. Well, then you know everything. Kiflam. Mm -hmm. Kiflam. The tract is being written. We're writing the tract together. Together. I'm writing the tract here. Do you have the cash? Yes. Yes, I do. Today, I was speaking with Carpetan in the Paradigm 4. And he said that we should deliver some of the Apocalypse funds to the Cayman Islands. Ah, Kiflam. Then you and I can write the tract. Kiflam. Zondar, tell me, have you reached my paradigm? Kiflam. Now, are you ready to write the tract? Kiflam. Just make sure to deliver this big bale of cash to my helicopter. Oh, and I'm sure you'll be pleased to know Kraf is very impressed with your progress. Ah. Kiflam. That crazy motherfucker Lamar hasn't got you killed yet? No, not yet. He must be slacking. He's always slacking. He's a fool, bro. Yeah, sometimes. Anyway, talking of fools, what would you say if I told you some fools I knew were running a little racing competition? And as luck would have it, they got this really beautiful silver medal with your name on it. I say go fuck yourself. You like it? I'm selling it. You want to buy it? I'm downsizing. No, no, I'm good. I used to sell houses like this all the time, okay? I sold dreams. I made lives meaningful. I'm not sure about that. How oh, about you like? You like beautiful things, though, don't you? Sure. Well, I just happen to know the most beautiful woman. You want a bouncy bouncy? Josh. Josh Bernstein. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the Josh Bernstein. Yeah, I never heard of you. Oh, well, I used to be a big deal once in real estate, and so I had my license taken away. My meal ticket. Where's the check? I'll get to that, I'll get to that. See, it's not really, it's not really money that I'm after here. It's just, it's a little something more awkward than that. Now, Lenny Avery. <laughs> he, he was my best friend. And now, he has taken all of my clients. All of them. Do you think that you could take out all of his for sale signs? 
That was easy. She's worth it, man. I love you. Hey, Whew. hope you had a good time up there. Oh, <laughs> listen, listen, I don't know if you feel up for it or anything, but uh, maybe you could go give Lenny a wake-up call. This is what he looks like, right here, okay? Now, I think you can find him. He'll be doing some showings over Rockford Hills today. I'll give him more than a wake-up call. That's it. That's it. I love you. I love you. I love you, man. Tony, 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 hope you had a good time up there. Huh? Yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad. A bit skinny, but not, not bad. Where you know her from? You, uh, you ain't the pimp type. Pimp? No, she's my wife. She's my wife. I left my first wife and kids for her. Best decision I ever made. Oh, fantastic. I mean, she's been the making of me. Whatever gets you off, man. Listen, um, if, if you're up for it, do you remember that house on Eclipse where I was standing out in front of? Yeah. You remember it? Okay, okay. Well, that's that's my old place, and it, it's in foreclosure. But, well, if something was to, to, to happen in the place, you know, some gas gets spilled, I'd, I'd still get the full value in the insurance. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, I understand. I love you. <laughs> I'm, I'm real glad that you fucked my wife. Officers, here he is. This man is insane. He destroyed my house. Whoa, hey. No, wait a minute. You ask me. He's he's ruined my life. He's he's a, he's a stalker. He's he's an epsilonist. Yeah, get him. See this uh, exercise stuff's about as relaxing for you as it is for my wife. No, I don't want to sleep with you and no, I don't care that I'm 39 and single. It doesn't worry me a bit. Oh, easy. I'm not stressed out at all. Now go fuck yourself. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Just fuck you. All of you. I'm on a run. Yeah, well, you seem a little upset. I could still run you into the fucking ground. <laughs> okay. Hey, I played high school football, all right, sweetheart? All state, QB. Whatever. Just don't have a coronary. Let's go! I wasn't looking at your ass. I know. No one ever does. A little thin for my taste. But nice. What are you going for, a swim? What do you care? You think I got a fat ass and I only swim because I float easily? I was just making conversation. I'm doing a three-way. A what? A triathlon. Sounds like you got way too much time on your hands. F you. You like a stay-at-home cheerleader, do you? Pathetic. You know what? F you, bitch. I'll beat you. Come on. I promise. <laughs> I bet you like to beat women. I wonder why your ass is sink. Well, great, you won! Aren't you gonna gloat? Look, we both survived. These things are about taking part, not winning, right? No, it is always about winning. All right, I gotta keep going. Cause I'm a loser. Fat, unmarried, career-driven loser. Hey, girl, you better chill the fuck out. Go to hell. I don't care what you say. Shut your mouth. Shut it shut. Just keep it shut. Oh, you know full well exactly what you didn't say. It's no good. Well, you can be surrounded by your young girls and your threesomes and your parties, and you will be miserable. You could have had it all with me. A beige condo, matching woolen sweaters, walks on the beach, a little dog we lavish too much attention on because I'm too scared of getting fat to get pregnant. Everything. Well, fuck you. And I don't care that we just met last week, all right? Just stop looking at me. Don't look at me. Say something. Oh, I wish you were dead. I really do. Mm. Ah. Oh, I love you. Oh, let me take you away from all of this. You mm. psycho! He was gonna impregnate my ex by a surrogate! Me? Me the psycho? No, you are the craziest fucking chick I've ever met! I love you! You're thin! You're irrationally angry! Nothing you say makes any sense! You are completely have no control of your emotions! We have nothing in common! Oh, 
Oh, baby, we're made for each other. Prove it. On the bike. Now. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, baby, wait, wait, wait. I'll get you. There you are, handsome. No mud. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone, about to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, it's one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file. How you been, Trevor? Boy, am I glad to see you. Look what you brought me. Your relentless sunny disposition, it always puts a pep in my step. I aim to please. Well, witty banter completed, I'll give you my thanks. And I'll send you another file for your inspection. Hello, stranger. Who's this? Hello, Maud. I found this man wandering the streets, and I thought that maybe you uh, might be able to find him a home. I think I can do that. Anyway, let's not waste all day with the inconsequential chit-chat. You'll be receiving a file from me shortly. Hello, Maud. Look at the two of you. Have you been keeping handsome? Ah, uh, up and down, to be honest with you, Maud. Life can be confusing, Trevor. In my youth, I wanted to be a cheerleader, and I nearly made it to the top. But then, I discovered a burning passion for justice. And that's what brought you here, huh? No, but that's another story for another day. Leave him here, and I'll send you a fresh sheet. Well, if it isn't my dear old buddy Trevor, and he's brought me this reprobate. Hello, Maud. You know, I kind of look upon you as the friend I never had, the son I never wanted, and the shrink I could never afford. You do? Kind of. The pursuit of criminal men for profit is back-breaking, soul-crushing work. Oh, I can only imagine. I'm retiring, Trevor. I want a peaceful life, away from all this insanity and degradation. I want a picket fence, and a husband, and a dog named Skip. I want the dream, Trevor, and I won't let anyone stand in my way. Good for you, Maud. I wish you well on that quest. I'll find it, Trevor. I'll find it all. I'm a passionate woman. Goodbye, my boy. Goodbye, Maud. Be well. So, you've done well for yourself. What? What, what are you doing here? Is that how you greet your mother, Trevor? I, 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 I didn't know they let you out. So you never wrote to me? You never visited? What? Well, I... I bet you never found a girl. Tell me, Trevor, are you gay? No. Is that what this is all about? No. I wouldn't care. In fact, I've always wanted a gay son. A son who wouldn't forget about his mother. But Ma! But Ma, but Ma, but Ma, nothing. Not a... Pete, I carried you in here. I fed you. I weaned you. Now look at you. You always were an ungrateful, wretched, sniveling sack of shit of a boy. You know it, and I know it. There was always something wrong with you. Ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of me. Of your own mother. 
I've been here for hours. And have you gotten me a drink or a cigarette? Or massage my feet? I'm an old woman. And you, in the prime of life, have you nothing inside? I'm so sorry. I am... <laughs> There, there, it's okay, son. <laughs> oh, that's enough! Here I am, old and tired and alone. I'm so sorry for everything. Exactly, for everything. I'm an old woman, Trevor. I don't got no insurance. Oh, I got money! I don't want your goddamn money! Is that what you think I am? A prostitute? Still? You're sick. What can I do? I'm in a lot of pain. I need you to get me some more Deludamol. I can do that. A lot of them. A truckload, literally. And not those weedy little ones. The thousand milligram ones. And if you find me a gentleman, well, we both know you need a father figure. I got the meds, Mom! Mom! I got the meds! Mom! Mom! No, Mother! Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work. Oh, stunt double. Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap. Watch the birdie. Oh, pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you did on that, on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, well, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah? Oh. Like that. Maybe something oh. like this? Oh. Or like oh. that? Huh? You like that? Oh, that's enough, huh? dear. You like that? Oh. 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 oh, hey. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Mm. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. I'm, uh, I'm not Jock, uh... What's his name? Cranley. Big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. Well, That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes. Yeah. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins, it's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm. museum. No, no, look, look, look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> there, there. I know, this is weird for all of us. <laughs> there you are, hmm? Jock. Yeah, I got you that stuff. Oh, great! Thank you. Where's your wife? Mrs. Thornhill, she's hmm. not my wife. She's got a husband and two lovely kiddies at home. We met online. It's no, nothing sexual. Where is she? Well, she's been trying to throw herself under celebs' wheels. <laughs> well, well, she can throw herself under my wheels anytime. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were funny, Jock. Yeah. I knew I would like you. C can I have a hug? OK. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Come here. Uh, I've got a pr protruding hip. It's not a semi. Nigel, 
Jock, no. you won't believe what's happened! What? Only Al Dinapoli walking. He actually walks! He walks walk among, among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. Of mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. Oh, me! I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. Jolly bad luck. And we were such fans. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruin everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. You see, like that little lockup I know. No problemo. Look, there he is! Oh, shit. It's that crazy English bitch again. Nigel, he remembers me! To the chariot! Jock, you drive. Quick, he's getting away! Such a thrill! Ah, uh, would you like me to escort your guest of honor to the trunk? Well, if you don't mind. Oh, come here, you! Come on! Come on, let me meet your biggest fan. Oh, ah. no. You're fucking crazy. Oh, it's Get off me. Uh. You're good to go. Ah, a true gentleman. This is so exciting. Nut jobs. Oh, he's making such a fuss, these celebs. Oh, they're not like you or me. Ah, ah apart from you, Jock. <laughs> Would you go and get him one of his favorite pizzas? No. Well, then I don't know what to do with him. I mean, he hasn't eaten for a few days. You've kidnapped a major movie star, okay? Now, you can either leave him somewhere and hope he's been sufficiently scared shitless to stay quiet, or you can send him on the kind of trip he won't come back from. Oh, a trip! Such fun! Oh dear, oh dear, what a palaver this is! Decisions, decisions! If you could just handle this, Jock... Mm. Wait! 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 Stop! What's the problem, huh? Wait! Carbon-based life form, check. Six feet tall, check. Slightly excessive adipose tissue, normal distribution, check. Readings are, readings are, shoot. This little machine is broken again, check. Star date 14-9-305, time is 789 past the Ninth Meridian. We are clear. Whew. Greetings, CBL. Carbon-based life form. Greetings, home. Have you seen them, CBL? Seen who? I don't know. They came to me last week. There was a brilliant joy and a terrible confusion. And they were laughing and screaming and crying all at once. And some said, Omega, we come in peace. And others said, we have come to enslave you. We are an infinitely intelligent race of super cosmic beings. And out of the six billion people on this planet, we have chosen you for no good reason. And just then they were about to abduct me and do experiments on me when their ship crashed. Man, you done lost your motherfucking mind. And now, I've got to find the pieces. Eh, bullshit. Look, look. See this? Hmm? If you see some, if you see some, let me know. Yeah, yeah, okay, I will, man. The final piece! I knew you would make it. Come. I have put together this ship to their exact specifications. I got every piece you sent through, except this. Man, you crazy motherfucker. Isn't it incredible? Awesome, dog, but this motherfucker is small. Well, they're small, but very powerful. They're far more evolved than we are. Man, I sure hope the fuck so. <sighs> See you on the other side, brother.
you're gonna meet a bitch, that's where you're gonna meet hey. one. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Give me a sip of that. What? Come on! My throat's dry as a motherfucker. Why? Is your mother dry when you're... <laughs> 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 what the fuck is that, huh? Nothing. Well, it didn't sound like nothing, all right? It didn't seem like nothing. I don't think that it was nothing. No, I didn't mean nothing by it, old man. What, old man? Old man! Fuck you, you creepy old motherfucker. That's right. I said it. Creepy. Old! Motherfucker! No! Jesus. Huh? No, come on. Get what? Up. What? What? Sorry. Now, where I'm were sorry. we on, exactly, on, huh? Get up. Oh. I'm sorry, man. We're Help. sorry. Help! There's a guy with a gun! So look at the who he Hey, ese. Que onda? You say, amigo? Where you from, Bato? It's none of your business, huh? okay? Hey, it's huh? a slight accent. Huh? Fuck you. Hey, so huh? I grew up in Canada, huh? huh? What's a big fucking deal? Huh? You fucking whoa, whoa, racist! Whoa, 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 whoa. And before hey. you fucking ask... Chill, Holmes, chill. No, I'm not a motherfucker! Nice piece, dawg. Hey, hey, yo, yo, who the fuck is this motherfucker? Hey, what's cracking on me? What you doing around here, man? Me? Yeah, you, motherfucker. You. What? I'm talking to you, motherfucker. Who else you think I'm talking to, homeboy? <sighs> Getting bored of this. <laughs> what? It's what? not legally fucking if you do not penetrate. Oh, ah, shit, man. Oh, this motherfucker fucker. Fucker. Hit me in Fuck. the nose, nigga. It's gonna strip the screw there. I can't put the cap on. No, it's a nut, man. You just screw it back on. Hey, what are you doing here, citizen? I said, what are you doing here, citizen? Nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. You're clearly a tourist. For our friends from up north, eh? A boot? <laughs> Don't even say it like that! There's a moose loose, a boot to hoose. Fuck off, you hoosier, eh? Hey, what's that boot? Fuck hey, hey, Oh, Jesus. It's a hey. faint fucking accent! Get out you of here. You can hardly come on, tell. Come on, hey, Insurgent, shit. insurgent, we have contact, we have contact! But that will be the post-ironic use of the word cunt, both offensive and at the same time, curiously anodyne. <sighs> hey, what the fuck? I find your t-shirt more than a little offensive. If there's one thing I cannot stand, it's post-ironic hipsters. If you don't like it, you can go back to Canada, dude! Come on, you want a piece of me, huh? Oh, wait! Oh, fuck! Oh, Run, fuck. you little fuck! Tanya, do you ever clean your raggedy bitch ass up? Fuck you, Lamar. I mean, Franklin or whatever. Everybody on the block knows you gone on buying wood and shit. Well, shit, if going vine wood means I ain't hitting the pipe like 1992, this shit, I'm guilty as charged. Punk ass. What? Bitch ass. Excuse me? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but where's your love for the hood? JB ain't doing good. He needs help. We need your help, nigga. We gonna lose everything. All right. Shit. What do I gotta do? Same as before, boo. A little help with the tow truck. Nothing for a real man like you. All right. You just get yourself together. Your ass done went crazy. You ain't cleaned yourself up yet, Tanya? What the fuck is wrong with you? You said it was all good on the phone the other day. But I was, and you know, I did. I, I was clean. That's why you didn't really see me around for a bit, but JB, man, the smoking is real bad. Re real bad. I had a few days. But you ain't clean now. Exactly, okay? And now your ass gonna lose every fucking thing unless I help you, right? I heard this shit before. JB ain't doing so good. JB ain't well. JB's your cousin. He ain't my fucking cousin. Look, your mama smoke, nigga. You know what it's like. Don't you have a heart? I don't have much of a heart. But by doing this, I don't have much of a brain either. I love you, Franklin. I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. JB appreciate all you doing. Just one more job with me, and I promise this is gonna be the last time. It better be. Now bring your ass on. Come on. <laughs> 